I took all of these vitamins here. <laughs> these are the, the exact vitamins that I took. Hey everybody, it's Kylie Cam Zader and I am here to inspire you along your health journey. And today we're gonna to be talking more about vitamins, but specifically how to use vitamins to get past your endometriosis pain. This video is actually inspired by a couple of comments that was left on my last cycle update video and I'll leave it here so you can see it. And the biggest thing I wanted to address was what 12 vitamins I took for three months that actually helped me get out of my pain. So I'm gonna get into that. I've actually shared all of the vitamins that I have taken in a couple of previous videos, so I'll leave that down below. But this is more of a deep dive in my thought process on actually figuring out what vitamins worked for me. So the biggest thing I want everyone to get out of this before actually diving in is that endometriosis is a clear indication that everyone has a bio-individuality when it comes to nutrition, which means that things that work for me may be the complete opposite for you. And this is due to a lot of factors, pollution, where you live, your stress levels, how you work, tradition, things that you're used to, a plethora of things can affect this. So it's really important to actually do your own work, keep a food diary, keep a journal of things that work for you and don't work for you because this looks different on every single woman. Everyone has a journey. And to be honest with you, on your journey, things change. So what works for me now may have not worked for me when my pain originally started. I have a whole different lifestyle now, which means even when you're in a good place with your pain, you still need to pay attention to what's happening with your life, what's changing, listening to your body, because your body's gonna tell you when things aren't going right. Okay, so I picked up this book endometriosis the key to healing and fertility through nutrition and i've talked about this book before i'm going to leave the link down below this is the first book i purchased when i found out i had endometriosis really weird how i actually bought this book but i think i just searched amazon endometriosis and this popped up and i'm like huh that's what i want to do i actually want to heal my body and i want to become fertile through a natural process and I'll be honest with you I bought this book and the first thing I did was just go to the back of the page and looked at the food menus I was like okay I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of this food and I'm gonna be good and that was not where I needed to start this book breaks down vitamins and when to use them and how to use them depending on where you are in your life. So if you're dealing with crazy stress, depression, things like that, there's types of vitamins that you should be taking to solve those issues. So I have this little tab here because on this tab, it breaks down stress. And I've talked about this in my last cycle update video. Stress is a huge factor for me. Stress is part of the reason why my cycles have been horrible in the past. And I can remember back, especially when my cycles were really, really bad and I was in the hospital every single month, my stress levels were extremely high. I was working a job that I absolutely hated. I didn't know what my boss was gonna do every single day. Like I had this fear of being fired every single day. I had this fear of not being able to do my work um, or not being good enough. I was dating a guy that was horrible for me. Like just everything. I had friends who were not good friends. Like I just had <sighs> worries from every direction. And this was coming off the brink of graduating from grad school in the midst of us trying to rebound from a depression, couldn't find a job. So when I landed the job, I was happy to have my job, but I hated my job. And just having debt issues and having to move in with my parents because of my debt issues and not feeling like I was worthy or not feeling like I was doing what I was supposed to do or, okay, this is not what this is about. Needless to say, 
when my stress levels were at its highest, I was eating horribly. I was releasing all of that negative energy through my endometriosis pain. It was causing me to have extreme flare-ups. It was causing me to, to experience more pain because of what I was going through. And honestly, people were just like, how, what, how, mm, what? That makes no sense. Like, how can stress do this? It has been proven that stress can kill you, right? Like, we don't need extra stress in our life, which is why I'm always sharing that I'm taking a break or I'm practicing self-care or doing things of that nature because I know what stress does for me. And I never want to get back to that place of having to drag myself into an emergency room every single month, right? Okay, I'm preaching to the choir, I know this. So let me get back to this. In this book, they wrote down the type of vitamins that I should be taking for stress. And this list is very similar to the list that I've shared before about the vitamins that I'm taking to stay in a healthy, pain-free space. And it's crazy that the moment I did have a painful cycle, it was clearly due to stress. I'm yet to get, get my stress under control, <laughs> to say the least. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There are 14 vitamins on this list. One is a lime blossom tea. And y'all know I love me some tea, y'all. Um, so we'll take that out. That's 13. Um, and then the other one is that I did not take is L Trisomy. Um, Trison. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. I did not take that one. And Another one I did not take is Botch Flower Rescue Remedy. Um, didn't take that either. I didn't know exactly what that was. So this is where my thought process started with what vitamins should I take? Because I read this and I was like, huh. The thing that I added to this that um, is not on here is I added turmeric every month as well because turmeric helps with inflammation. So I added a turmeric pill. Um, and again, like this is because I knew I needed to have a clear slate. So in this book, it talks about like how to take your vitamins when you're dealing with things. So I think the recommendation that they put in here was to take it for two months take it every day for two months and then you can slowly just take it like once a month because at this point it's like oh you don't need you don't need all that in your body every single month forever right we just need to make sure it's there but for me because <laughs> I was like I'm not playing no games with my pain I took all of these vitamins here <laughs> these are the, vitamins, the exact vitamins that I took I took all of these vitamins here for every single day for three months the other thing that I did was I did acupuncture twice a week for three months. Because again, here I am. I know that I'm dealing with stress. I know that I'm dealing with pain. Um, I'm not I'm not a yogi, right? I'm not into yoga yet. <laughs> um, I'll get there. But this is what this whole channel is about. It's a journey of health. It's actually trying to get healthy your way because what happens is we see all these images of, hey, go vegan, you'll be happy. Or, hey, go vegetarian, you'll be healthy. And the reality is to get there, <laughs> there's things and that you have to go through. There's a mental space you have to be in. There is a physical space you have to be in. There is a state of balance that you have to have. And in life, none of us are in the perfect place to just say, you know what? I need to get my life together. So I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of everything. No, no, 
no, no. It just doesn't work that way. So for me, it was all about using vitamins to get me to a place where I can think clearly, where I can learn how to control my stress, where I can learn how to eat properly, where I can actually do the method of pushing in um, instead of taking out. And basically what that means is instead of trying to take something away from me, like for instance, Oreo cookies. Yeah, I love me some Oreo cookies. It's just what I love. And I have some Oreo cookies in my cabinet that are at least a month old. And some of y'all might be saying like, How, what does that have to do with anything? The reality is I have cookies that I absolutely love in my closet that are a month old. I have not touched them. I haven't touched them. I haven't felt the need to touch them. I haven't had a desire to touch them, but I haven't deprived myself of them either, which means if I want one, I'm gonna go get it, but I'm constantly making sure I'm doing things that one, make me feel full, that make me feel satisfied where I don't feel like I need to go and reach for them, if that makes sense. But I can't do that if I am in pain. I can't do that if I'm stressed. I can't do that if I am in this place of trying my best. And I just I just honestly feel like we have to get to a place of I'm good enough. It's okay. Let me breathe. <laughs> Let me enjoy this ride, no matter what this ride may bring. And to me, the biggest piece is to put my vitamins in my toolkit. So then that way, when I'm getting on this roller coaster ride, I have something that's strapping me in. Back to the vitamins thing. Okay. <laughs> so again, I read this book again and I saw these vitamins and I ordered these vitamins and I started taking these vitamins. But in this book also, and I'm gonna leave this book down below. Okay, like I'll make sure you, you have the link to this book because I do think that it's helpful. Um, again, it just kind of depends on where you are in your journey. I still haven't read this book to the fullest because some of this stuff is just like, I'm not there yet. I'm not there, I'm just not there yet. Like, um, for instance, right? Um, when I was reading this book, when I finally read this book for vitamins, I was in a place where I was like, listen, whatever I gotta do, I'm a do to get to a healthy place. The great thing I love about this book is it goes really in depth about certain things like basic nutrition for brain health. Okay, that's great. What does that? What does that have to do with me about to go on the cycle and I'm about to be in pain, right? So that's what I mean by some of these things you may not, may not gravitate to right away, but it's a good place to come back to, which is why it's kind of like my Bible. It's like one of those things, and I have a couple of these, but it's one of those things that I keep as a reference guide. It's something I go back to. It's something that... I take little bits and pieces of every single month, take a little bit of time when I'm doing my studying. Oh, natural daylight, that's what that's what's important. Mm, health intangibles, mm, let me read that, right? 